Today I'm gonna show you how we cook and season sushi rice here in Japan, so stick around. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto and I'm here to show you how to elevate your everyday meals, so smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We all know that fresh, high quality fish is super important for sushi, but here in Japan, the sushi rice is just as important, if not more so than the fish that goes on top of it. Sushi rice is just rice that's been seasoned with rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. But master sushi chefs will spend years finding the perfect cultivar of rice or even going so far as to pair the vinegar and salt in the seasoning with the fish that's gonna get served on top of it. We don't have to be that picky, but you do need to find Japanese short grain rice. It has a higher ratio of amylopectin to amylose than long grain rice, which not only helps the rice to stick together, it also keeps the rice from getting hard as it cools, which is important since we don't eat sushi hot. You should also know that one rice cooker cup is equivalent to 3 quarters of a US cup or 155 grams. I'm using 2 rice cooker cups of rice which is 1.5 US cups or 310 grams. We're also going to be using rice vinegar, sugar, and salt to season the rice. But the ingredients are just half the picture and today I'm going to be showing you my technique for making sushi rice with the perfect texture and that balance of sweet, salt, and tart. The first thing we need to do is wash the rice. I usually do this in a sink over running water, but I figured this might be easier for you guys to see. Just gently rub the grains of rice together to remove any excess starch from the surface of the rice and repeat until the water runs mostly clear. Then you want to just shake off any excess water and you're ready for the next step. Now we're going to dump the washed rice into a tall pot along with a cup and a half of cold water and we're going to cover this and let the rice soak for at least 30 minutes. For the sushi vinegar, I'm adding rice vinegar, sugar, and salt to a bowl and then we're going to stir this until the salt and sugar are completely dissolved. If you get impatient, you can pop this in the microwave for a few seconds to heat it up, which will speed things up quite a bit. Sushi vinegar will keep for months and it's great for making quick pickles and salad dressings, so I usually make a huge batch and store it in a glass bottle in the fridge. Okay, the rice is done soaking, so let's cook it. I'm gonna put it on a stove over high heat and bring the water to a boil. Then I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes and turn down the heat to low. When the timer goes off, turn off the heat, but don't open the lid yet. That's because we need to let this steam for another 10 minutes, so set another timer and go have a drink. Okay, through the magic of YouTube, our rice is done steaming. So let's open her up and see what we've got. Mmm, fresh rice. Sushi rice is traditionally mixed in a shallow wooden barrel like this, which is called a sushi oke or handai. The large surface area makes it easier to mix the sushi vinegar into the rice evenly, and it also helps cool the rice faster, which keeps it from getting soggy. If you're using a sushi oke, be sure to wet the surface so the rice doesn't stick to it. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can mix the rice in anything with a lot of surface area, like a large non-reactive pan or a tray. All right, let's get the rice into here while it's still piping hot. I'm gonna spread that out a little bit. And then we're gonna pour the sushi vinegar all over this. Now here's the important part. You wanna cool the rice rapidly as you mix it together with the sushi vinegar. The idea is to evaporate some of the liquid using the heat from the rice so that it coats the surface of the rice without making it mushy. The traditional way is to use a fan like this, but an electric fan or even a clean hairdryer set to cool will work. You can do this yourself with practice, but an extra set of hands is helpful. Now we're going to mix the vinegar in so that it evenly coats each grain of rice. The way you do this is to gently cut the rice at an angle with a flat spatula or a rice paddle, and then you fold the rice back over itself. 
This motion separates the individual grains of rice without smashing them together. Once the rice is no longer wet and is cooled to lukewarm, your sushi rice is ready. To keep it from drying out, I usually pile it up in the center like this and cover it with a damp towel until I'm ready to use it. Well prepared sushi rice should be super glossy and it should be seasoned enough that it's delicious on its own with the perfect balance between savory, sweet and tart. Once you have the rice down, making rolls, nigiri and chidashi sushi is a piece of cake. There's nothing hard or complicated about making sushi rice, but as with most simple foods, technique is everything. So I hope you'll give my method a try. If you enjoyed this video, please support us by giving us a big thumbs up. And if you have friends that love sushi, be sure to send them a link to this video so they can try it themselves. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss my next delicious episode. All right, I'm gonna go make myself some nigiri and maybe a California roll or two, but I'll catch you in the next one. Check us out on Instagram at No Recipes. Sushi rice is just made with rice, rice vinegar, sugar, and salt. But master sushi chef, 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 for seashells, seashells by the seashore.